Hi, <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Please uh, silence your cell phones before you begin a recording on Zoom. Pastor Doug with you, namaste, God's peace be with you. Welcome to the midweek moment. Isn't this exciting? In August, uh, August is, is going by. Tomorrow, today is the 11th, as you look at this with me. And uh, I got my candle lit right there. And on our midweek moment today, the theme is going to be spiritual direction. I got it on my sign. As I have showed you before, the window behind me opens up to my front door, which is over there. This is my back door to the garage. Back that away is the patio where Buddy, my new puppy, is probably wrapping himself around a tree, failing to notice how much less leash he has when he does that. But I wanted to lift up for you today in the midweek moment, a theme around spiritual direction. That's what the sign says, if you can catch that. Spiritual direction. It's not a term that we're all together familiar with. Friends, once again, notice the production staff of the midweek moment ministry is hard at work creating a sign for you, two signs, really. Spiritual direction. It is a term perhaps well known in the Catholic tradition. Many Catholic parishes will have a spiritual director on staff. That person will be available to meet with to explore your spiritual life, exploring the spiritual life. Uh, many years ago, I attended and completed a program in spiritual direction at the Benedictine Monastery in Beech Grove. Uh, and I have been through that training and would want to offer that to any of you, spiritual direction. It is not counseling. It is not counseling. It is not advice giving. It's not therapy or counseling, as I said. It is exploring where God is in your life. Spiritual direction is exploring where is God at work in your life as we meet on a, any give, given day. I know that there is a perception, you know, Doug is busy, there's two churches, etc. I want you to know, as I have said before, I am never, ever too busy for you. I am never too busy to you. I would love to meet with you. And what this would look like is we would set up a time uh, at probably one of the churches, uh, and we would uh, we could do this at your home as well. And we would light a candle uh, to what this does to me is it's a symbol of Christ and the light of Christ. We'd light a candle and we would just sit in silence until you were ready to talk about how you're feeling God's presence in your life. I've done spiritual direction for others. I've received spiritual direction uh, every month for years. I meet with a spiritual director. Now, this is a woman who's based in Ohio. I found her online many years ago, and we talk once a month for about an hour on my spiritual life, and I bring things that I would like to reflect on, and she will reflect that back. What I do as a spiritual director is just to kind of reflect back what you're saying, and together we look for God's impact, uh, God's uh, presence in your life, and how you're sensing God at work within you and your, your family or just within your own self. It's not complicated. You may think, well, I don't have any idea. Well, I can help prompt you to explore more deeply how your life is going, because spiritual direction, friends, has to go somewhere. What is the direction of our spiritual life is a question we could ask. What is the direction of your spiritual life and of my spiritual life? It needs to be, I, ideally, it's going a, a, along in a pattern, uh, a, a line, if you will, and ups and downs come along in life, but generally we're growing, right? You know, we come to church, we read our Bible, ideally, we pray. We serve the Lord in various ways. So hopefully the spiritual direction of our lives is up, right? Or ongoing as we grow. 
ideally, my passion would be for you to grow in the Lord and for me to grow in the Lord. There's always room to grow. And we do that through interacting with each other in ways about God, talking about God. Now, spiritual direction doesn't have to have a trained spiritual director. Maybe you've got someone in your life now that you talk to ongoingly. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's others in your life that you can talk to about how you feel God is at work in your life. I hope and I pray you have someone, and whether you do or not, if you'd like to meet with me, I would be honored to further explore for you where God is at work in your life. We would do it by questions and response, by sensing uh, God's work in various things that are going on in your life at the present time. This is all in total confidence. It's all one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, these meetings don't go much more than an hour. And we explore where God is in your life. Now, there are a whole variety of tools and ways that one can do this work. Uh, I am um, a member of Spiritual Directors International, Spiritual Directors International. If you just, and I did this just this morning, if you Google Spiritual Directors, you'll get a whole slew of websites and where, ways that you can engage, listen, engage God in holy ways. There are, there's contemplative prayer, there is uh, books and resources out there that are available to you. Don't hesitate to take advantage of something or someone to grow in your spiritual life. It's what God would have you do. That's why you're listening to this today because you want to grow spiritually. So the website that, that I belong to and the group I belong to, this is a little bit hard to see, but it's SDI, which is Spiritual Directors International Companions.org. SDI Companions.org. When you Google Spiritual Directors or Spiritual Direction, you will get a wide variety of websites. This would be one of them, SDI Companions. Dot org. If you need more information, please let me know, but this is a way in which you can go now. Um, the Benedictine Monastery uh, down in Beach Grove, among many other places, any of the monasteries, uh, there's a Fatima retreat house that's, that's Catholic that I is here on the north side. There's tons of places one can look uh, for meeting with a spiritual director uh, to have that time together. And it's a rich, rewarding time. It helps one calm down. It helps relieve the anxiety and the worry that's in our minds. Being aware of God's presence is a rich gift that God gives us. And it comes through in many and various ways. And what I wanted to share today is that spiritual direction is one of those ways. And I would be honored and blessed to sit with you and explore where God is in your life. Uh, and it would be very, I think, a real blessing for you. This doesn't cost anything. Just a little bit of time and a candle is all you need, okay? So be aware of your own spiritual life. You're in charge of it. You're the one to make things happen. Uh, of course, God does that, right? But, but we can't set in neutral. Let's move forward together as, as congregations in Christ as we grow spiritually in the multitude of ways that are available. Hope that's clear as mud. And uh, any questions or comments, let me know. Last week, I wasn't feeling well. And I thank you for the many of you that uh, reached out. I was very surprised by the number of you that played the game, the big lie, uh, where you tell two truths and a lie and you try to guess which one is the lie. I responded to all of you that wrote me I did meet the mayor of, I, last week I said that, I, I said, I gave you three short stories. One of them was a lie. The one story was uh, having met the mayor of Munchkinland. I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. He came to a bar. This is a true story. They put him up on the bar. That doesn't sound, I don't mean that disrespectfully, but they placed him up there. And I recall him being pretty drunk. But anyway, uh, he was there for autographs and ha happy to talk about his time on on the show and what that meant to him so anyway it was very nice and then i am a member of a fraternity chi phi 
C-H-I-P-H-I. -I. Gary Hinchin from St. Andrews was also a member of Chi, or is a brother in Chi Phi. He was there years before me, I like to tell everyone. And even before him was Jerry Curry. Jerry is deceased, but he was married to Sarah Curry of Faith Lutheran. And uh, that is a true story. I went to that same fraternity. So your pastor is a, was a member of a, of a fraternity, and I've sought God's forgiveness for all of that. But alongside that, um, so is Gary Hinchin, and then Jerry Curry was. Uh, so lastly, the last thing I said was that I had won a disco dance contest. I did have some moves. Let me just say that. I had the big high-heeled shoes and you know, all the clothes, of course. But anyway, I did not win a disco dance contest back in the day. God be with you. And let me know if we can talk about spiritual direction in your life. Thanks for listening.